Miss Melinda here, your spiritual advisor from MissMelinda.com, here to bring you the new moon reading for our new moon taking place on Tuesday, August 18th at 9.41 p.m. United States Central Standard Time. This is a new moon in Leo. We're going to see what the guidance is, what the messages are to best help us traverse the energies of this new moon in August 2020. Today I'll be using the Morgan Greer Tarot and I will be pulling four cards, speaking about them individually and then talking about them all together. What is the guidance available to us for this new moon? What messages are going to assist us with best traversing the energies of this new moon in August 2020? The first card that is coming up is the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles talks to us about hard work and it talks to us about re-evaluating our priorities and our perspectives and our expectations regarding hard work. It asks us what are we working for and why. It asks us to really take a moment to contemplate the way that we're putting in energy towards our work and what we expect to get out of that. And do our actions truly match our expectations for that work? Sometimes we think that we're going to receive security through financial gain only to then find out that security really needs to come from within ourselves, for example. Sometimes we think that it is love that is going to make us feel like we're successful in life or that we have achieved what we want to achieve in life. And then we find out that really what we need is some kind of career goal or creative expression. So there are many ways in which the rewards that we seek don't necessarily match the efforts that we are putting forth. We need to take some time this new moon to evaluate what our expectations are, what do we hope to achieve from the work that we are putting forth and is what we're doing really going to equate to the outcome that we want to have one trick for thinking about the outcome that you want to have, perhaps you don't have a concrete idea about what that outcome looks like, but you do know what you would like to feel like in your life. If you aren't sure exactly what you want your outcome to be, what your specific goal is, then just take a moment to consider how you want to feel in your life, how you want to feel in your body, how you want to feel in your daily life what the general feeling of your life should be like for you in your ideal circumstances. Are you working to feel freedom? Are you working to feel security? Are you working to feel a sense of expansion, right? So what is it that you're seeking is hopefully going to allow you to feel? What is the real feeling, uh, the, the embodiment of the reward that you are seeking. Contemplate that, that's going to help you really um, evaluate this situation, evaluate your priorities. What is the next card for us? The next card for us is the Nine of Pentacles. So we've got a lot of pentacle energy going on so far. The Nine of Pentacles is also about rewards. It's about material rewards. Like every card in the deck, there is a light, shot, light side and a shadow side to this card. So the Nine of Pentacles tells us that it's okay to be expressive, to relish our beauty, to revel in our material goods or you know to show out to dress up to express ourselves to enjoy our physical embodiment of beauty to express that beauty and to get into our sensuality in terms of uh, really enjoying our five senses enjoying the physical senses that we get to enjoy here as humans on this material plane but it also has a warning that comes with it which is to be sure that we're not getting so caught up in these material rewards that we're missing out on other things or to be sure that greed or um, overachievement isn't shadowing other pleasures in life. 
So we'll see what the next card is regarding our guidance for this new moon, August 2020. How can we best traverse the energies of this new moon? What are the messages available to us for the new moon in August 2020? I'm seeing the chariot card. The chariot card reminds us to stay on track through staying true to ourselves. The chariot card says that oftentimes we have the potential to be pulled in too many different directions as if we are being pulled by opposing forces. Sometimes other people's opinions, other people's ideas, other people's perceptions, or just the outside world in general has the potential to pull us off from what we really want or what we, we really need, what our vision truly is. The chariot reminds us to stay focused, stay determined, get back in alignment, get grounded with yourself and remember what your vision is for what you want for your life, where you're headed. Only you know what your true path is and it's up to you now to ascertain if you're staying on that path. If you're not, if there's anything out of alignment, this is going to be a great new moon for getting back into that alignment and getting clear again about what your vision is. What is your final outcome? Where are you headed? Where does your path lead? What is our final card to offer us the guidance most needed to traverse the energies of this new moon, August 2020? We just need one card. What is the last card here to help us round out this reading for August 2020? I'm seeing the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is very much about comfort. There's a lot going on here about our physical comfort, our comfort in our physical world, how we feel embodied in our, in our physical beings as humans, how we feel embodied in relation to our relationship with the earth, our relationship to earth energies. The nine of cups is very much about those physical kind of comforts. It can be about our desire sometimes to cocoon ourselves in security. Sometimes people have a tendency to do that through too much food and drink. Uh, sometimes it's about wrapping yourself up in your favorite blankets and watching movies all day and all night. And sometimes that's fine, but be careful that you're not getting too caught up in your comfort zone to the extent that you're missing out on other things. The Nine of Cups says you need to step out of your comfort zone sometimes. You need to be okay with getting out of your boundaries in order to receive bigger things, in order to grow more, in order to receive bigger blessings that are available to you. The Nine of Cups says don't become so indulgent, even though it feels good, even though it makes you feel secure, even though you feel cocooned and safe. Don't become too overindulgent to the extent of deadening yourself to other experiences, other blessings, other opportunities. There's a lot going on in this reading that has to do with staying true to ourselves and has to do with our physical comfort. So this is going to be a good new moon to work on our balance between enjoying our physicality in a healthy, happy, joyous way as opposed to becoming too overindulgent in our physicality, right? So when we're talking about physicality, when we're talking about the material world and being embodied as humans in this way related to all of this pentacles energy, we're talking about our five senses. We're talking about how we feel in our body, how we feel in our skin, how we express ourselves physically. We're talking about the beauty we create in our homes. We're talking about our relationship to food, our relationship to everything that we consume, food, drink, etc. And we're talking about how we experience our senses, our sense of sight, smell, taste. Are we allowing ourselves to experience those things in a way that enhances us, enriches us, brings us beauty, brings us pleasure and joy? And are we being careful not to become so overindulgent in that pleasure and joy that it becomes unhealthy or that it throws us off track or that it deters us from other things that are important, right? Like the path that we should be on, the vision that we have for where we're headed in life. 
So this is a really good new moon to get clear about their, that balance, to assess that balance, as well as to assess where you're headed, what is your alignment with your clear vision about what you're seeking in your life, how you want to feel in your life, and are you still on the correct path to get there? Are the efforts that you're putting forth going to offer you the correct rewards or the correct circumstances to lead you down that path? This is a good time to assess that and to be sure that your earthly pleasures are bringing you enhancement and fortification and nourishment that's going to assist you on traveling down that path rather than deterring you from your path. Thank you so much. Happy new moon. Be blessed.